Let's take a look at evaluating functions using the direct substitution uh, method um, on a T84 plus calculator. Let's take a look at our first one here. We got um, f of x is equal to 3x minus 4. And we want to find f of 2. Okay, well, let's go to our calculator. And um, I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm going to put in 3x minus 4. Now, think of what we've got here. y1 is equal to 3x minus 4. So I could change this notation here. Instead of f of x, we could say y1 is to 3x minus 4. So then, evaluating this, um, f of 2 would become y1 of 2. Just different different notation. Okay, well I'm going to exit out. I'll do second mode. And we're going to type in y1 of 2. So we're going to go to our vars. We'll go to our y vars. We want to go into function. And that's where you'll see your function notation. So there's our y1. And how we always evaluate functions, you put a beginning parentheses, two closing parentheses, and then enter. So that would give us two. Now if I want to evaluate that for a different value, let's say I want to put five in there. Well, then we go back in, go to vars, go to y vars, go to function, do enter on y1, and then I do in beginning parentheses, five, closing parentheses, and enter. And that would give us 11. Now that's our first example. Let's take a look at our second example. We've got f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over x plus 3. Now remember, we're going to use a little bit different notation. Instead of f of x, we're going to have y1. And you could say y1 of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over x plus 3. Now remember the trick to um, plugging in a fraction into your calculator is if you have more than a single number or a single variable on top or bottom, you put parentheses around that part. So when we plug this in, we'll put parentheses around the top part, parentheses around the bottom part. So let's go ahead and put that in first. So I'm going to press my y equals, clear. Do a beginning parentheses, x squared, minus 4, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, x plus 3, closing parentheses, and now that's in y1. So I'm going to exit out, do a second mode, and I'll do a clear to clear those out. And let's see what they're wanting us to find. They say f of 7, which with our notation would be y1 of 7. So let's see what that gives us. We'll go into our vars, right arrow to y vars, enter on function, and then we'll do y1, uh, beginning parentheses, 7, closing parentheses, enter. Now it gives us 4.5, and uh, to change any decimal to fraction, you can do math, enter, enter. So this gives us 9 halves. Now, if I want to do a different value, let's say I want to put, um, I don't know, um, one seventh in there. Well, to do that, we go to our vars, go to y vars, go to function, choose y1, and we'll do a beginning parentheses, one divided by seven, closing parentheses, and then enter. And we get a decimal. We know how to handle that. We do math, enter, enter. That's interesting. I just made that number up, but that came up with a nasty fraction. Negative 195 over 154. And it's already uh, simplified. Um, so you can see how easy it is to uh, evaluate functions, um, even more bizarre uh, functions, when you're using this, uh, this particular method. And this is um, evaluating functions using the direct uh, method, direct substitution method, with the T84 Plus calculator.